Today we are going to make Steve's bat from Stranger Things. This is going to go along with our um, Halloween decoration that's soon to come. Y'all need to stay tuned for that, but I'm going to show you how I'm making the bat right now. So step one, I'm just sanding it down, getting the polish off that the factory puts on these bats so that I can distress it and put a stain on it that makes it look old. I've got the bat all sanded. Now for fun, I'm going to um, burn into the wood Stranger Things. Right now I'm um, putting some fire on the bat to make it look old and distress it a little bit. Never really done this before, so if I'm doing it wrong, I probably am. Just let me know. But yeah, we're gonna make this bat look a little bit older and a little bit beat up like it was just found in somebody's garage. Right. So here's the finished product of the bat before we put the nails in it. And um, I think the burns look it look like a really pretty bat. And you can see where we burned in the Stranger Things with the help from my dad. And I uh, painted on the lines, like the lines there atop the words. And I used the Dremel tool to clean them up to make them straighter than they were. And I'll give you a close-up shot of that and then uh, we're going to put the nails in it. Now I'm just going to paint on the nails to give them a old rusty look and I'm just taking some acrylic paint and I'm going to try to see what happens. I'm not an artiste so I don't really know but we'll find out together. So they're looking a little better. Got them with a little rust, might hit them a little bit more and then I'm going to stain it. Well, here's sort of the end product almost. Got the nails in. And um, I got it as rusty as I could get. That's as good as I'm going to get. I don't want to do any more. I don't want to coat it on too heavy. So, yeah. I like how it's turning out so far. Next step, I'm going to um, add a little bit of stain to it. I picked golden oak. And um, I'm going to see what that does to the bat. So right now I'm going to be creating the gateway between the Upside Down and the Hawkins reality, if you will, from Season 2 of Stranger Things. I'm going to go ahead and place them, trace them, and then I'll get back to you with the next step. So this is what we have so far. We're not artists, but we try. And um, yeah, we're going to keep on getting it done. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna lightly sponge in yellow. We're gonna avoid this middle part because we're gonna come in with fluorescent yellow and a tad of white to really create that opening. Well, we're on the final part of um, building the gate and um, I thought it would be cool to buy this stringy crap from the dollar store to make the little veins in the gate like in the show. If you know what I'm talking about, I'll probably post a picture somewhere in the corner is what I'm talking about Yeah, right we'll now. do that. <laughs> uh, here it is. 
here's our gateway. After we build all of our props, we're gonna do like a grand finale to show you what they all look like. Now it's on to the fun part we've been waiting for. We are going to make the Ouija board that's in Stranger Things, and uh, we're pretty excited about that. We're really excited about that. So for the wallpaper, we're going to be using some fabric that is close to the show that we found at Joanne Fabrics. We found that that was the cheapest way to go. So what we're going to do is we are going to pull it tight and just staple it to our board. After you staple it, you got it all beautifully tucked and tightened. Look at these corners. Look at them. I feel like I'm on the show. <laughs> As we all know, this wallpaper does not stay this nice, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started with our Ouija board. This is just a sneak peek of another thing that we're making. We're going to try and keep the rest of the props that we're going to be building a secret, so just stay tuned and um, we're going to flash forward to what the final product looks like. Here's the final results. After waiting for weeks of building all these props. Uh oh, there goes our <laughs> gate. There's our shadow monster. And then we got our little stand. Got the Susie Do You Copy. I made some fair faucet spray. And of course the bat. And then we got our little welcome to Hawkins sign. With a little stuff telling you what's happening. Got the welcome home Dustin with the toys that followed him down the hallway. We got the Ouija board. And yeah. And thanks to these fine people right here for helping us. So here we are at the Goochland Drive. Dreamy. 2019. We got the Stranger Things uh, theme. I'm dressed up as Steve. I'm 11. And um, yeah, I hope we get first place. Fingers crossed. These gloves are extremely tight. Go Hoos! <laughs> We've already met our competition, so. We've got the Stranger Things Nike edition. We got the ones that you can customize. Okay. There you go. She was a cheerleader, she's okay. So yeah, we're gonna take some videos later as it's starting to go through, and we'll see you later. Probably about two months to build all these props. Yep, it's been a lot of fun, and we will let you.